Here's the new ignition coil. It's pretty easy to put on. Here's the old one. And just to show you how you take it off, these boots just spin on. There's just a screw on the inside and it screws down onto the wire that's on the inside here. Hard to focus that, but you can see a little bit of wire on there. And then on the inside of this, there's a screw and it just screws on. So you just unscrew it and then pull the wire through on the inside up there. And then do the same thing on the new one. Unscrew the boot, feed the wire back through and uh, tighten it down with the two bolts here. That's it. And then the kill wire. Make sure you put that back. Uh, the one, the new one came with a new kill wire, but I just reused the same one so that it will connect over on this other side here. I don't have to fish that back through or anything. Good to always check that this one actually works. I'm just turning this by hand. The camera's not really picking it up very well. There's a spark. You can see that there is a little bit of spark, and I'm just doing this by hand. It's not going very fast, but you can see that the new coil does, in fact, have spark. So we can put the rest of it back together. Put the recoil and the cover back on. Reconnect the kill switch over here. And if you don't know how to do that, look at part one. I show how to take it off. It's basically just four bolts that are in the corners, and put it back the same way. Spark plug back. With the boot. Just slide the other end of the boot back onto the wire connector part here. Just helps keep water and corrosion out and dust. Next thing's next, it's missing an air filter. Literally nothing there. Who knows how long it was run like that. If you have a bunch of small engine stuff, I have an air compressor, there's this thing. I think I have one more engine that uses the same Honda setup. It's good to just buy these air filters and packs and have them around. That's good, doesn't need to be super tight. Put the cover back on, it keeps most of the dust out. All right. Now I think the last part is getting a new muffler on and then just, you know, checking oil, make sure there's oil in it and then put gas in it and start it. These are 12 millimeter nuts holding it on. In case you're wondering what happened to this muffler, here's a new one. And basically, you know, it'll sit like this, but they are welded onto the casing here. And if that weld breaks right here, the casing can just come off. So that's what happened to the old one. It's long gone. I have no idea where it is because I bought it like this. There you go. I don't have a new gasket for it. I'm going to reuse this one. It actually looks pretty good. It's smashed on there, but. Otherwise, it looks good. Let's see if this fits, if I bought the right one. Looks like it works. Just set it back down there and the way it was before. That's all there is to that. We got ourselves a really crude looking flute. Check the engine oil. Really, it's checking the oil and putting gas in it. And it should be good to go. I will change the oil, but I just want to try and get it started first. It looks, looks like there is oil in it. Oh yeah. There's plenty of oil in there. Pretty gross looking, but it'll work for an initial start and test just to get it running and then once I have it running, I can change out the oil. Okay, it's got gas, it's got spark. Got an air filter, got a new muffler. Should be ready to go, we'll try it. Make sure the fuel's on. Choke goes this way. 
And that's full throttle.